Jess is going to bring you numbers. Jess with the mess. I knew this was real. On The Breakfast Club. I know they know the distance. Keep it as fast as Good morning. So uh, Candace Owens in one of her recent interviews was talking about uh, how she, you know, feels like Lizzo was problematic. And um, she's speaking about the incident, the specific incident where she wore the assless leather pants at the NBA game back in 2019. She's like, if you don't like it, it's your problem. It's like, no, you are being problematic. And now you're playing the game where you do something outrageous. And then when we outrage, you pretend that we're the crazy ones. I'm not dealing. You stop gaslighting me, okay? You're very large. And you got your ass cheeks out on the side of the court. <laughs> I, am, I'm allowed to now comment on that. I reserve the right to now comment on that. And I do. That's from Joe Budden's podcast, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Yep, I mean, yep, she, yep. she does have a point. If you do something like that publicly... Mm -hmm people will have the right to comment on mm -hmm. it. And all those comments are not going to be in your favor. No, 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 no. Yeah. Especially not, you know, if you're very large and, you yeah. know, and you're at a, and you're at an NBA game mm -hmm. on the side. Like, you know, you got floor seats and all that. By the way, you even wore, if you were skinny, people even like if that, you were yeah. little, I don't people care. Talk if you, about yeah, yeah, you got a thong on, your ass is out and you shaking it. I'm talking about then when she turns slow, Never mind. But, you, you, you know? You, 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 the outfit was worn to garner attention. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, so and then he, you get the wrong type of attention. Yes. You cry. So you can't, you can't control what people are going to say about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, look, she has every right to wear what she wants, mm -hmm. but that comes with Critique. wearing That's what right. she wants. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I do I do agree with uh, Candace on, on those notes. All right. Diddy, uh, Diddy's charter school reportedly falling apart. So I've been seeing all over the weekend. Um, in 2016... Diddy co-founded Capital Preparatory Harlem. Uh, the school is located in East Harlem, one of the New York City's poorest neighborhoods. There are 500 students from uh, grades 6 to 12, and the majority of them are black um, and are from low-income low families. Several news outlets have been reporting on Diddy's charter school crumbling. All the reports connect the school to Diddy while they report all the things go going wrong. Mm -hmm. Now, some of the things that are going wrong, short on, the shortage on teachers, mm -hmm. kids grading kids grades being mixed up mm -hmm. and incorrectly recorded a lot of fighting and behavioral issues with the kids now what's messed up about this is that it isn't even affiliated with the school not anymore not anymore. In June 2023, Diddy was celebrated for his uh, work in education. Five months later, Diddy's Harlem Charter School was forced to sever ties with him after Cassie's allegations against him. Mm -hmm. So if Diddy isn't connected to the school, you know, and hasn't been since last year, why are we reporting or why are reports not we because we ain't doing it. Why are the reports all week headline Diddy's school is crumbling? He was in Diddy's picture. Yeah, and he's the celebrity. Mm -hmm. He's the person attached to it. He's, but he's not he attached to it. He was attached to it. Well, he, they just let him go last year. Like six, seven months ago. June 20th. Yeah, when all of this stuff started happening. Right, so if the school started declining since then, that has nothing to do with me. That has yeah. nothing to do with Diddy. That, Diddy has no nothing in that school. These are... What are they doing that for clicks happening then? right now. Yeah, that's what they're yeah. doing for clicks. Yeah. Uh, those, the shortage of teachers and all that, that is like recent. That's right now mm -hmm. going on. So yeah, so they, they're just attaching his name to it, which I do think is wrong. I and, mean... And even if he was attached to it now, like that's not... His fault. It's the administration's fault. Like, right. He's not but doing. He's not, he's not right. doing the day to day of the school. Mm -hmm. Right. 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 But anything like you said, the clickbait, um, and you know, just to make it a bigger story. Right. You know, because of what he's already going through. Okay. Gilbert Arenas flirting with Saucy uh, Santana. So Nick Young was on a recent episode of No Chill with Gilbert Arenas during the conversation. About his time on College Hill, Nick spoke about his friendship with Saucy Santana. And at the time, Gilbert didn't know who Saucy was, right? And um, he had an interesting reaction the first time he heard about it, and he looked them up. This is what he said. College Hill? So, hey, listen. Who, who, who else was there? Uh, Saucy Santana. That's my dog. Saucy Santana? Who's that? It's the, you know, that, that rapper. He's a rapper. Uh, Carisha friend, the City Girls homegirl. Saucy Santana? Yeah. Don't look it up, because you're going to say something funny. Don't look it up. Oh, hell. <laughs> 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 That's your dog. <laughs> hell no. Come on, man. No. Not this. This. The rapper. <laughs> that ain't no rapper. That ain't no rapper. So Saucy heard this audio and responded mm. in some tweets. We know Saucy ain't scared to check nobody. Correct. You know? He said, I really be having to check these niggas. What the F is funny about a straight man saying he cool with me? I'm one of the realest niggas you'll ever effing meet. I literally just talked about this on Love and Hip Hop. Niggas be scared of what they, what their peers gonna think. 
Bitch, what's funny about being cool with me? I'm very respectful. I don't size niggas. I don't try niggas. I do me and be in my own lane. Nick know that. That's why I was the first name he mentioned. And we also know that because Claudia was just up here and she also said that they were they were cool. Yeah. Like they were close. You know what I'm saying? Like they got to know like each other, like just, you know, from man to man. Um, after Saucy responded, Gilbert doubled back and tried to explain why he reacted that way. But he might have taken it a little too far. Uh, this is what he said. I've Don't never at, seen somebody yeah. with nails and the beard. I, I, that was the problem. It just threw me. It threw me off. And then, and then when I hit the video, twerk. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no, no, no. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> if I had to rate between who's better, I'm trying to see it, him or Megan Thee Stallion. <laughs> Stop. Stop, man. I don't no. know who I'm gonna throw my dollars to, dog. <laughs> a good show is a good show. <laughs> So listen, I got rules. You got you listen. You can't talk. <laughs> no, no. Nope, and you nope. can't look at me. Hey, Zazie, I'm being there like the yeah, <laughs> shaking my. <laughs> Can you say that? Is that nah. Not? And he's still playing. He, 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 so he is stupid, really, man. really like joking. Or oh, he's trying so hard not to be canceled. Listen, sometimes you got to play gay to avoid cancellation. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, I, I got one for you. I'm going to turn this whole mm-hmm. thing around. Mm-hmm. Now Confuse start, everybody. Now That's when right. Saucy start I playing with him back. Hey, man. Yeah. yeah. Don't, Don't play. Days. All you had to do was say sorry. You said, don't got playing big clown. Hey. Between you and Megan, I, he said, I'm going to pick you. He just went, oh, it's like, you know what? I'm going to turn this whole ship around. Yep. You know what they say? It's like all. When you, like when you said, I spread the ass. Hmm? Uh, yeah. Those were the bloopers that y'all can catch coming soon. Yeah. I'm going to post them this Thursday, y'all. It's all fun and games until somebody gets a boner. What? What? I ain't seen nothing. It's all fun and games until somebody gets a boner. <laughs> sounds <say> personal. <laughs> Very personal. Not what yeah, I said. it do. All right. Well, thank you, Jess, with the mess. Mm. Now, who you giving your donkey to? Speaking of boners, mm-hmm. uh, we need a man named Frederick Lloyd Day to come to the front of the congregation, okay? He was arrested for uh, doing inappropriate things. We'll discuss. All right. We'll get to that next. Right. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. <laughs> 